Hello and welcome to the Battlefield Top Plays. In today's episode, we have a selection of clips from Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. The first two clips are from Ascend Focus, the first being a fantastic heli snipe on Goldwood Railway, and the second being a classic Battlefield 3 clip, sniping a pilot out of his jet with the M98B on Firestorm. Moving on, we have a clip, or two clips in fact, from 18 FPS, and he's starting out on Operation Metro, Battlefield 4, up the escalators at the back, and how often have you seen this sort of a clip? That's a lot of kills in one streak. The second clip is again an Operation Metro spray down. Check out this for a Battlefield Rambo moment. Next up, we've got a clip that is from Prolosco and clipped straight from his stream. As you can see, he's in a dogfight. He's a very good dogfighter, and this is satisfying stuff. And he's probably got the advantage, I think, on this jet behind him. Yes, the enemy jet is on his tail, but you always know with Prolosco that he can pull some trick out of the bag to get away and maybe even get behind the enemy jet to take it down. And that's exactly what you see here, as he gets a little bit lucky, but I think it was all planned because you never know with Prolosco. He's just a bit of a genius. This episode of The Top Plays is sponsored by Instant Gaming. If you're looking for some good deals on game keys, whether it be for PC, Xbox, or PS4, you can find them here. Not only do you get great deals on Battlefield, but you'll also find every other game available, whether it's a pre-order or not. You'll also be helping out the channel, as well as getting a really good deal. Check out the links in the description below. One of the best Battlefield 3 players in the game, it's Scream, he's still playing Battlefield 3. For years and years, this guy has been killing absolutely everything on Operation Metro servers, and he does exactly that in this clip with the M416, his weapon of choice. Check this out for an epic Battlefield 3 infantry streak. Moving on, it's LIC Ghost, Battlefield 3, and this is a satisfying infantry clip using the M416. He's pushing up this hill on Charlie Objective, he's got to stem the flow of enemies as they rush down the hill towards him, and there you see on the right hand side that iconic tower on Caspian Border. Pretty cool, maybe this map will get remade for a third time in a future Battlefield, I'm not sure, but it's one of the best Battlefield maps, especially for Conquest, that I've ever played. A really nice one this though, so many kills with this M416 and the enemies just seem to appear from everywhere and that point stack keeps on going up. Really? Fuck's sake. Jesus fucking... 83, 14, god 
damn. Shit. Lethal Minimum is next, playing on Battlefield 4, Siege of Shanghai, and producing a superb Only in Battlefield moment. Alex UK is coming in with a Battlefield 3 clip on the console. I think it might be the PlayStation 3. Check out that for a jet snipe only in Battlefield on the old gen consoles. Moving on, we have a few clips from Dexter. The first being on Dragon Valley. The Scar H is his weapon of choice, and it's a map and weapon combo that you don't see often. In fact, I don't even think I've seen this at all on the top plays before, and it's a bit of a longer streak, but as you guys know, Dexter is a very, very good infantry player. He doesn't really waste any time getting to the enemy, and this is going to be a 19 kill streak as he hunts them down on the side of this flag here. Now it is Rush and he is trying to arm objectives, which is what you wanna be doing if you're attacking. You do see a lot of players, more so on Battlefield 5, but definitely in the older battlefields as well, sitting back, hoping someone else will take care of the objective play for them. It's not what you do in Battlefield. You need to get up there, you need to put smoke down, kill the enemies and get the objectives capped. And that's exactly what he does in this epic infantry streak. I don't want this for long. Hey, Dad. Putain. Les deux mecs qui flanquent. The second clip is a little better in my opinion. Playing on Pearl Market, he manages to get 21 kills in total in quite a short space of time. It's a shorter clip than the one before. This time he's gone for the Ace-23. You have to play a little bit differently with the Ace-23, but this map is perfect for it. So many enemies close to you, and you've got to take them down. Survives the grenade spam in this section of the map. Again, playing Rush with an objective being diffused as he defends this area of the map. Two clips sent in from Suljak. The first is going to be on Zebra Tower. One of the best maps in the game for visuals. I think it is stunning. It's a very close quarters map and people say that small maps can't be battlefield maps and I've even said that with the new Lofoten Islands and province maps coming to BF5 being a little bit lackluster. But if you do it right, as you see with Zebra Tower, it can be a really hectic 
only in Battlefield map. A great clip. The next clip is an 11 kill streak with the M4A1 and the Magnum as a secondary. Check this out for some really good close quarters battlefield action on Seine Crossing. Moving on, three clips from Uji, starting out with a five man with the L96 on Dawnbreaker. If a five man wasn't enough for you, he's got a pretty much identical clip, but this time a six man. Again, Dawnbreaker, L96, and a load of camping enemies. Again, we have another six man, again on Dawnbreaker, and again with the L96 on Rush. I wonder if they were all from the same game or the same play session, because these players seem to be fairly clueless in every clip. But a nice position, and that is what makes these clips possible. It's all about positioning, knowing where you can be to get an advantage on the enemy team. Two clips left in today's episode, the first from XC Vita. This is Golmud Railway and an incredible tow missile with the Z10. Next up is Friend, EST, and then some Roman numerals, which I believe is 2014, something like that. Again, an only in battlefield moment, flying out to the top of the jet and using the AMR2 to snipe that pilot. Thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Make sure to send your clips in to battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com and I'll catch you in the next episode.